What is up everybody, my name is Sir MC Coy and welcome to my Madden 25 Steelers franchise. I did end up having to skip the preseason as I just had a bunch of corrupted files, everything went wrong, so we skipped that. Going on to the transactions, I did end up trading with the Seahawks to get Byron Maxwell, Paul McQuista in a 7th for Lamar Woodley, Mike Adams in a 5th. It was quite the risky play, but we have Jason Worlds and Jarvis Jones, and I felt like Woodley was just the odd man out, too much of a cap hit, and I want to rebuild this team. So that was our first move. We also signed Brandon Banks, primarily for special teams, and our final transaction that we made was we picked up Andre Ellington. The Cardinals released him, and I felt like it would be a good addition to our running back core, a nice young rookie, and so let's get into it. We're playing Tennessee week one. They've got a great run game, but a very, very weak offense. Kenny Britt is injured, so we will not be seeing Kenny Britt. And we get to see the debut of our team now. Offense, defense, it's... We're in the middle of a transition at this point. We have a offense that is quite confused with its identity. Are we a run team? Are we a pass team? I guess we're going to find out. But first, Tennessee gets the ball, and we're going to kick it deep. And that is Leon Washington to field it. And Jarvis Jones with the hit. Forces the fumble, and it's picked up by Brandon Banks. Jarvis Jones' first play as a pro, and he forces the fumble. Pittsburgh starts early with the ball, and we're going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. And he's only got two or three yards on his first handoff. Third and four now, running the play action. Roethlisberger drops back, tries to slide out right, and he gets hit and sacked. I've gotten so used to NCAA and having a fast quarterback in Boykin, I messed up there. So we settle for the field goal and jump out to an early 3-0 start, and McClendon is going to break up that run of Chris Johnson in the backfield. If we're going to win this game, we have got to contain Chris Johnson. He is their, basically their only weapon, and there's Worlds getting in the backfield and getting a sack. We're bringing pressure. Uh, Fitzpatrick drops back again, third and 16, airing it out downfield, Delaney Walker got a hand on it, but Ike Taylor is there to force the incompletion. It's Pittsburgh ball again as we force a three and out. Handoff now, it's going to go right side to Bell, and he's got nowhere to go, he lost two. Second and 12, Roethlisberger back to pass, had a man open downfield, but he underthrew it, and it's intercepted by the linebacker, Zach Brown, at the 40-yard line. Turnover and it is Tennessee ball into our territory and the handoff is gonna go to Johnson He had a hole, but he was hit hard there by Lawrence Timmons We have a really great linebacking core Which is hopefully gonna help in stopping this run game and there's Fitzpatrick scrambling and there's the linebacker Jamal Westerman the second string outside linebacker getting to the quarterback where they're forced to punt and it's Pittsburgh ball again Roethlisberger dropping back quick pass out to David Paulson on first down that gets him about six yards now second and four, Roethlisberger drops back to pass, has time. Right side to Heath Miller, who's wide open and gets a first down in 10 yards. Pittsburgh moving the chains, which they have had some trouble with early in this game. Now Johnson goes in motion, they're going to hand it off right side to Ellington, who finds a hole and he gets 10 yards. That is our longest gain on the ground today. It has been tough running against this defense. Roethlisberger back to pass, second and seven, downfield, he's got Emmanuel Sanders wide open, down to the 23-yard line, that is his first catch, and it'll go for 27. That counter left goes to Le'Veon Bell, and he himself has got 11 or 10 yards. Great run there, and I think it's finally starting to open up for us. Second and six, Roethlisberger back to pass, he's got Heath Miller out in the flats, he stumbles forward, has a first down, but he is two yards short of the goal line. Handoff, Bell! Wide open lane, touchdown Pittsburgh. They're taking off early. They have got a 10 point lead. One thanks to a turnover right off the kickoff and now a great drive. Early lead here, 10 nothing. That's what I like to see. Tennessee ball, they're gonna look to answer with about a minute and a half left to go in the first. Fitzpatrick all the time in the world. Downfield, Nate Washington can't hold on to it. Great job there by Troy Polamalu forcing the incompletion. Second and 10, Fitzpatrick drops back. Taking off right. Somehow gets that throw off to Hunter. He's only got six yards, though. Third and four. Great job with the tackle right after the catch. Fitzpatrick misses his man who was wide open, and they're forced to punt. So three and out for Tennessee. Pittsburgh takes over Roethlisberger. Pass to Sanders, and he drops it. He was wide open, and he just couldn't hold on to it. So third and ten now. Pittsburgh trying to prevent going from three and out. Roethlisberger dropping back, now sliding right, pressure coming, and then he throws it off his back foot. That falls incomplete. 
Pittsburgh now goes three and out. Defense now starting to step up and take control of this game. Dump off pass to Hunter, and he's got himself about 12, 13 yards and a first down as the first comes to an end. Into the second now. Pittsburgh still with a 10 0 lead as the handoff goes to Johnson. He's only got six yards, but that is his longest gain of the day. But it was him basically dragging the man. Third and two now. Fitzpatrick, he's got Nate Washington on a first down for Tennessee. Our defense has allowed them to convert a few times on third down. And Fitzpatrick now drops back on first and ten. Has all the time in the world. Slides left and right. Downfield, he's got Kendall right. We give him that much time, he's eventually going to find someone wide open. Second and five now, Fitzpatrick bootleg. Out to Delaney Walker. He's hit hard. He didn't get in, but that's going to get him down to first and goal at the two. The handoff is going to go right side to Chris Johnson. He's broken up in the backfield. Lawrence Timmons, great job there, preventing him from getting in. Now they're going to toss it out left side. Johnson has the edge, and he's wrapped up by Jason Wills and company. He didn't get in. Third and goal now. Can the goal line stand happen? Fitzpatrick back in the end zone. He's got Nate Washington touchdown, and Tennessee has their answer right there. As Nate Washington comes back, and they are down by three now. Pittsburgh trying to add to their lead as the slant goes to Ellington. Right side blocks broke down, and he lost two. It was Bart Scott eventually, the man getting to him. 12, Roethlisberger back to pass. He's got Merck Sweeten over the middle. He's only got about eight yards, though. They've got to get more yards on those completions, but third and four. Setting up an easier short one. Roethlisberger, pressure coming, and he just is forced to throw that one out of bounds. He had no open target. Pittsburgh has to punt again. This has really just been a defensively dominated game. Both teams have had one good drive, and that's about it. Fitzpatrick, he's going to try to take off right side, and the defense came swarming in, and it's Shamarco Thomas. He gets his first sack as a Steeler in his first game. Third and nine now. Fitzpatrick, pressure coming. He's got Delaney walk over the middle. Breaks one tackle, but goes nowhere after that. First down, Tennessee. Less than five minutes to go in the half. Hand off right side, Johnson. Jarvis Jones breaks it up in the backfield. And again, defense has just been dominating. Fitzpatrick now third and five. Pressure coming. He's got it downfield. That is Nate Washington again. Easily has been his favorite target. Getting wide open on plenty of passes. Handoff now to Chris Johnson. And once again, he has got nowhere to go. Our run defense has looked amazing. Both teams run defenses for that matter. Second and ten now. Fitzpatrick. Left side Delaney Walker. He's got a first down again. The tight end has been getting wide open. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. First and ten. Right side, it's intercepted by Ike Taylor. What a play as Ike Taylor gets his first interception of the season. And he was able to hold on to it. Ike Taylor is not known for catching too many interceptions. And this one he makes an amazing one with a toe drag. But Pittsburgh gets the ball backed up deep. It's second and 12. Pass out to Will Johnson who runs over a defender. He's got seven yards making it a third and five. And they're trying to convert here. Roethlisberger calling a hot route from the line. Dropping back, Marcus Wheaton, he's hit and doesn't hold on. He was well short of the first down marker anyways. They're forced to punt, and that gives Tennessee good field position as they get the pass out, and what a catch there on the sidelines. Second and six now. Fitzpatrick, pressure coming, has time. It's intercepted by Byron Maxwell. Everyone's getting their first something as a Steeler. Jarvis Jones, Shamarco Thomas with their first sacks. And now Byron Maxwell is first interception as a Steeler. Defense has played amazingly this game. Let's hope it keeps up. Pittsburgh now already facing a third down, and it's third and two. Roethlisberger, he's got Le'Veon Bell across the middle. That is a huge game for Bell and a first down as the half is coming close to an end. 18 seconds left. Roethlisberger dropping back. Has time pressure coming. He's got it out to Antonio Brown, who's tackled just shy. There's only 10 seconds left. And they're going to settle for the field goal going into the half. That is going to make our score 13-7 Pittsburgh with the advantage. We'll see you in the second half. This has been a game purely dominated by defense. Both teams barely getting over 100 yards in the first half. And it is a low scoring game. Uh, whether it's the offense is struggling or the defense is just having an amazing game. That's up to you. But Pittsburgh will start with the ball, and it is play action. Roethlisberger out to Heath Miller into traffic, and he cannot hold on as he 
has contact with the defender. Third and 13 already, and Roethlisberger gets sacked. A free rusher came in, and that is going to force another three and out. Surprise, surprise. Now it is Tennessee ball. They hand it off to Chris Johnson, and he didn't get anything. Cameron Hayward, and we have just been able to contain Chris Johnson, which means we've been able to contain this offense. As Fitzpatrick throws it off his back foot, and if Maxwell would have turned around, he would have had his second interception of the day. Third and 12 now. Tennessee trying to convert and trying to prevent from going three and out. And Washington just drops the pass. He heard footsteps behind him of Byron Maxwell. It's Pittsburgh ball again as we hand it off right side to Le'Veon Bell, who's only got two yards. It's just been such a slow day for the offense. As we hand it off to Bell again on third and six. We tried to fool him. Lost two, and Tennessee gets the ball back. Fitzpatrick rolling right. Hit by Jarvis Jones. Fumbled and picked up by Stuart Jarvis Jones now. He's got a sack and forced two fumbles today. I feel like putting him on the left outside linebacker and getting rid of Woodley, so far it's showed up to be the right choice. Fitzpatrick, left side, he's got Justin Hunter, and he's got 17 yards and a first down for Tennessee as they move the chains on third and 15. First and 10, Fitzpatrick dropping back. He's got Nate Washington wide open. There was a linebacker in man coverage on him, and Fitzpatrick was able to take advantage of that. Third and nine now. Fitzpatrick trying to convert again. Cam Hayward, he gets in there and spears the quarterback. That's a sack. And our defense has been shredding this offensive line all day. First and ten, Brown goes in motion. Play action, jet sweep to him. Roethlisberger slides right. Emmanuel Sanders, you have got to catch that. That's his second wide open drop of the day. And that is not what we like to see out of him. Especially a man in his contract year and on third down. Pass is short to Heath Miller. We have got to start passing it past that third down marker. And just like that, there's Delaney Walker. Makes two men miss up past midfield and is finally down at the 42-yard line. Delaney Walker made two diving tacklers miss. Great maneuvers there as they're into Pittsburgh territory. And Ryan Fitzpatrick all day downfield and he just missed a wide open man. And that was Delaney Walker. We got lucky there. Second and five now. Fitzpatrick. He's got man Thompson, puts it on the ground, and again, Stewart recovers. We have got to pick up those fumbles when we force them. Now second and 13, Fitzpatrick, he's hit and sacked. Guess who? Jarvis Jones. This man has been all over the field. I have loved seeing him play so far in this first game. Third and 21 now. Fitzpatrick dropping back, slides right. He just has to throw that one incomplete. But this will be a 52-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good, and that's going to bring them within three points. We're going to fast forward to a little less than five minutes left to go in this game as both teams exchanged three and outs for basically the first seven minutes of the fourth. And now it's second down and ten for Fitzpatrick as he passes it out, and it's Justin Hunter again, another missed tackle, and he's up close to midfield. So far, once again, defense has just been dominating, and as has mediocre offense because these three and outs have just been ridiculous and intercepted by Cortez Allen along the right sideline that's exactly what I've been talking about our defense has been playing amazing our offense not so much as the handoff is gonna go right side to belly fumbles it and Ramon Foster is able to pick it up and that is gonna be the end of Le'Veon Bell's day we are bringing out Andre Ellington to try to add a spark to our run game and he tries to take it right side and he's only got one yard our run game is become absolutely non-existent we've been forced to become one-dimensional as Roethlisberger throws that one out of bounds I'm not sure if he was throwing it away or trying to hit his target downfield first and ten now Fitzpatrick has a man hunter but he threw it to him in traffic and he got hit hard by Ryan Clark third and 14 now Fitzpatrick tries to take off he's got nowhere to go Hit by Cameron Hayward, but they're running the no huddle. They have got to get a playoff, and they've got to get a first down here. Fourth and 19. Fitzpatrick sliding out right. Pressure coming. He's hit, and he is sacked. And that is going to basically be the end of the game here as long as we can run this clock down. The handoff is going to go right side to Andre Ellington. He's only got two yards. Third and three now. Another handoff to Ellington. He's tackled just shy of the goal line, but they get a first down. First and goal now. 
Roethlisberger, handoff middle, Andre Ellington is in, touchdown, our second touchdown of the day, one by Ellington, one by Bell, and that just might be the nail in the coffin, we have got to stop them here, first and ten, Fitzpatrick, in and out, downfield, and it's tipped and almost intercepted by a diving Ryan Clark, second and ten now, Fitzpatrick, left side to Hunter who steps out of bounds trying to turn up field. That'll set up a third and four now. They're six for 15 on third down today. Fitzpatrick has time. Throws it to a man, but out of bounds. Fourth and four now. Trying to make a stop here. Fitzpatrick has time. Pressure coming. Slides right. He throws off his back foot. A diving man can't make the catch. And that is going to be the end of this game. And it was... It was an ugly one, for sure. Defense was dominant. Offense was mediocre at best and we sort of just kind of squeaked out with a win here byron maxwell player of the game he had two interceptions as his debut as a Steeler, which is great to see i was a little worried as he didn't have any significant plays during the preseason but he was able to turn it around here and there we see the owner talk with tomlin our first win and now the stats both teams barely mustering over 200 yards of offense and we didn't even get 200 yards of offense and now we're just gonna look at player stats in general but this is just a rough game for me. I'm sort of just trying to adjust to these sliders. I'm not used to playing with the sliders at all. I'm not used to uh, just this entire concept in general. I've used to play Madden a lot more than I did NCAA, but playing that first season has got me more adjusted to you know how NCAA works. And I know that's sort of just you know a lazy, a lazy excuse in a way, but also at the same time. It's just how it is. I just need to become better in that uh, in that retrospect, which will be happening. Don't worry, I will try my best to produce better games. And this one, the editor is just really, really weird with. It wasn't even worth watching all those three notes because my editor has just been really weird. Even recording this has been just a really weird, glitchy experience. I'm really hoping it's just this game in general and not Madden as a whole. I know I've had issues with Madden in the past with this video editing software, so I might have to even find a whole new software, which hopefully isn't the case, but we'll see as things go on. But next week we play our division rival Bengals. We have the number two ranked defense, but we also have the worst ranked offense. We need to improve on that. Hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, leave a comment, and if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. See ya.